Hey y'all, this is The Butcher, and I want to know, um, are you, do you have a little bit of that Netflix button rage like I do at times? So like, when you're watching your uh, a movie or a TV show, and you reach over there and you grab the remote, and you hit, to go to hit the volume button, and you accidentally hit that Netflix button that is so sensitive, and then it opens up Netflix, and you gotta wait for it to load. It pulls you out of the content that you were watching. You have to wait for it to load, then you can back out of it to continue watching whatever you were watching. And even if you don't have a subscription to Netflix, you, you it'll still load that. Well, that drives me crazy. It's been driving me crazy, and I found an application that I can actually turn off the Netflix button, or I can actually set it to a couple other options. I can set it to open up three different things depending on if I hit it once, hit it twice, or if I long hold it. So this can give us the options to map that to something that we're actually going to use. So let me show you how to use how to do that. Now I'm going to be doing this on my OnBox, which uses Android TV, so it's going to set up the same way. Uh, but my shield doesn't let me record on my computer very easily. But the OnBox doesn't seem to have an, an issue with it. So that's why we're going to use the OnBox. This will work on an NVIDIA shield. I have it on my NVIDIA shield in there. So it does just fine. Pretty much the same steps. So go to the Google, Google Play Store. And I went ahead and I got the quick the TV Quick Actions Pro. I, it is a paid application. I think $399 US, um, $550 Canadian or something like that. It's it's around three to five dollars, something like that. Uh, but I find it's well worth it. The few bucks that it's going to pay, and then I can put it on any of my devices. Uh, so we're going to go through and remap the Netflix button that I have on here. So we're going to go ahead and open this application. Now I will be honest with you, this application does a lot of things that I'm still not not really sure on what it does or how to use it, how to use its full functions. It does a lot of things in here that, but we're just gonna scratch the surface on this. This, but this video is just gonna be on how to map it to one button. I will do another one where we can actually pull up menus with this, which is what I use on my NVIDIA Shield. But let's go ahead and just keep it easy. Let's go down here and we're gonna add a button. Uh, when you first open this application up, it will ask you to allow some permissions and that is permissions for it to work on top of other programs and stuff like that you will have to give it permissions it's gonna when you first open this application it will give you those prompts of where to um, allow in your settings and your permissions for this this tv quick actions uh, app program to run and to be able to do what it needs to do so the first thing that pops up is this little thing window here pops up when i hit the button now i am going to just hit the netflix button on my remote so now you see with the on box, it is actually button number four. Uh, the Nvidia Shield, I think it's a different number. It'll, it's called something else, but don't don't worry about that. When you hit that button, it's going to know what button you're hitting. So disregard if you're doing this on Nvidia Shield. It, it most likely is not called button number four. So the, what I'm going to do is change this button action to usual action, and this gives me the option of a single press double press or long press now I could go in here and if I hit the single press I can tell it um, to do nothing oops so I'm gonna tell it on the single click do nothing okay so I wanted to do nothing when I accidentally hit it one time so the next thing is down here for double press so when I double press it it's going to open up an application so I'm gonna hit the double press and let's say I just want it to open up Crave. So we're going to have it open up Crave on the double click. And then it's going to ask, what does it want me to do on the long press? I'm going to choose another application. And we're just going to say I want it to open up Disney. So on this one Netflix button, it's either going to do nothing on one click. Two will open up Crave long press will open up Disney now again I could have set this up to any anything I want to do I could have said do nothing for all of them uh, but just for just for simplicity this is how I'm gonna have it set up now down here at the label I usually like to label it just so that uh, if I make uh, a lot of um, uh, a lot of program if I do a lot of these setups that I know what button I have made this for I set it up so I'm just going to say Netflix. Okay, so I'm going to get that easy. Boom. 
All right, back out. So you can see right here, Netflix button for uh, the usual action, which is the one click will do nothing. So I'm going to back out. Let's get back to the home screen. So we're back at the home screen. I'm going to hit it one time. Nothing happens. Hit it one more time. Nothing happens. So we basically disabled the button for a single click. If I double click it, now it's going to open up Crave. All right. And then the long hold, I'm going to long hold it. And this would have been Disney. Yeah. So now it opens up Disney. So we can set this up to do just about anything we want. I'm going to, since the problem when you go into some of those applications, do you really want to go? So we can set that up with just, you see how long it took me to set that up. If you're on a shield, you can set that button up and do the same thing I did. Um, it will not be called button number four. I can't remember what it was called, but it's something different. But the same pr principles, same setup, and you're able to do it. Now, I will do another video where I'm actually showing you how to make some panels where is what I use on my NVIDIA Shield where it opens up um, a little panel. So this is a great app. Again, it's a paid app, but it's definitely worth the, uh, the, the few bucks that I paid for it because I can put it on any of my devices. And it just saves me the hassle and also makes it easy. One click, it actually opens up the application I want it to open. If I double click, boom, it's opened up the thing I want. So I uh, hope that helps you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video.